you have probably heard of the Sovereign Television Vrillian incident that occurred on the 26th of November of 1977. You may have also heard of the WTTW and WGN Max Headroom room incident that occurred in almost a decade later. Both these television hijacks are famous and widely reported all over the world. There was a television hijack that occurred on the 1st of December of 2007 at 1.12 a.m. that you may not have heard about. This hijack only affected the people who were watching the local uh, transmitters located in the north northeast region of Yorkshire. I was one of those viewers who re-witnessed the hijack live. Suffering from insomnia, I decided to watch a report of a man-to-man -man with Dean Lehner on the Channel 4. The first sign of trouble began five minutes into the first half of the program when the picture quality suddenly went black and white for about a couple of seconds for no reason. Then the hijack completely overrode the program and began showing random increasingly creepy images. A woman can also be seen heard saying something on some sort of random numbers, similar to a number station of some kind. Then almost 40 seconds after it, it began. The hijack ended there and cut to a back to a man-to-man -man with Dean Lerner. I was wondering if I was dreaming of the whole incident, considering the fact that I had insomnia, but it turned out it didn't happen. Well, it did happen. Although, the unlike the Virilian and Max Headroom incidents, this incident was not widely reported. It was big on the news where I live, however. I did not record the hijack, but thankfully someone recorded it and uploaded it to YouTube. As for the hijacker, well, I assume to this day, that they're still at large. Well, that was um, certainly uh, another short uh, creepypasta, but, you know, that is something that you enjoy. And um, that, my pretties, was Channel 4 Interruption, a uh, creepypasta written by Space Maniac 888 My final thoughts on this story? Honestly, despite this being short, this was actually a really well-made creepypasta. I definitely find this one to be enjoyable, and it kind of reminds me of the Virilian Incident um, pasta I narrated. Although, it's not copying it or anything, it's kind of almost like a sequel to it, per se. Or maybe just a follow-up as to the hijackings of television that happened. Honestly, I really like that the story had involvement with that, although I do wish this story was a bit longer so we can get a bit more context as to who was the hijacker or why the hijacking of the channel happened. But, you know, with that being said, I personally really thought this was a very enjoyable creepypasta. It's definitely well made, it's enjoyable, it's definitely one of those pastas, I have to say, were the most enjoyable stories I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen some other stories that were enjoyable, but this one, I definitely see it as an enjoyable short pasta. Really good one, but I personally really like how this story went out. I mean, with the concept in that and all of its own self, it's a really great story. I personally really enjoyed it. So, I guess with that being the case and with that being said, I personally really thought the grammar was good. The grammar was really good, as well as the sentence structuring and the storyline about it. It's just flat out amazing, and it's really enjoyable. I personally really like this story. It's still one of the good pastas, I have to say, was good. But if there had to be one thing negative that I did not have to say about it, that I have to say about it, the only thing I can really say was that this story could have been a little longer and maybe explain more detail as to what actually happened. You know, maybe the hijacker was on the news report and explains what he did or something. Although that kind of really depends if he was caught or something. But other than that, this story was found very enjoyable. So Space Manic, Maniac or whoever, for however I should pronounce the name, 
You did a good job with this story. I personally really enjoyed this story. This was very enjoyable. I enjoyed every last bit of this story. It was very fun. It was well made. It was just brilliant and well made. It was definitely a fun story. So, I guess with that being said and that being the case, um, that's pretty much all I have to really say. I mean, the grammar's good, sentence instruction's good. Everything about this one was just flat out amazing. The only thing I have to really say, point out, is if the story was a little longer, it would definitely, you know, go into more detail and explaining, you know, why the hijacking happened. But that's just me, though, personally. But, I mean, it depends on how you guys feel about this story because, you know, like I said and like I always continue to say, this is simply my own personal opinion. And if you happen to dis disagree with it, that's perfectly fine, too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these um, creepypastas, and this is just simply my own personal thoughts. My final rating of the story is a 9 out of 10. Despite the fact that it was short and it could have been longer and could have, you know, went into more detail explaining how, you know, the hijacking happened or maybe express explaining, you know, why the hijacking happened or something and why it wasn't, you know, um, widely reported and just only in the place where somebody is it kind of really doesn't make sense but at the same time though i don't really know about about news reporting stuff so yeah i don't really know too much about it because i don't watch the news very much or listen to it on the radio for all i know so anyways with that being said and that being the case what did you guys personally think of this creepy pasta did you all enjoy it did you all not also, what we have done personally to help make this story a lot better. Feel free to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, if you guys want to go check out my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo, link to that will, also, will be in the About Page section. Also, be sure to follow my other media if you're interested, such as DeviantArt and Twitter. Links to those will be in the About page section, so you guys can go check those out if you like, and you can give me a follow on those if you want. Now, as always, if I'm missing something that I did not explain in this video, let me know what it is in the comments below. And with that all being said and that being the case, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video, and like always, roll the outro because I'm out.